one story I tell is, uh, say, imagine uh, you knew about a, a baby that was going to be born, a little boy, who uh, that baby was going to be born in a time when if the mother wasn't married, it would be a shame to the family, out of wedlock. That baby was going to be born with the disease, uh, spinal meningitis, and uh, that baby was gonna actually go through such a, a rough time as an infant, uh, in and out of the hospital, um, at one point even pronounced clinically dead, uh, considered to be par partially retarded, that baby grew up being passed around from parent to parent uh, in families that really didn't care much. Abused physically, abused mentally, abused sexually growing up. Uh, part of the Special Olympics was in special education. This kid was so messed up that uh, by the time he was 11, he was already stealing cigarettes and beer from, from his parents and, and neighbors. Uh, in junior high school, this was the little skinny picked on kid that got beat up every single day. In fact, his principal used to let him out of school every day, five minutes early, because he got beat up so many times going home from school. He ended up a drug addict, ended up living on the streets, dropping out of high school, and at times selling himself so he can have food or shelter. Some people might say that a child like that should be aborted. Some people might say that a child like that would be better off never having to gone through that kind of pain. Well, if you say that, then the person you would have aborted is me. That's my story. That's the childhood I went through. That's how I grew up. I was that, that baby. I was that young drug addict. I was that kid who lived on the streets. I was the kid who ran away from home at age 16 and my parents never knew I was gone. I went through all of that, but the life that I live today is such a blessed life. I'm married to the most beautiful woman on the face of the planet. I have seven beautiful children living, two that happen to be with, with God right now. I've written a book. I've been in several documentary movies. I was a regular on a TV show called Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher. I've sang on major Christian rock albums. I've traveled to 29 countries, uh, 49 states, doing pro-life work, doing what I love to do. I, I have a blessed life. Nobody should ever have the right to judge someone else's quality of life. We never know where that person is going to end up. We never know what's going to happen with that person, what they're going to be able to achieve in life. If somebody would have judged my quality of life and aborted me, none of my children would be here today. And to me, that's a tragedy. Abortion is not something to fix a situation, a tough situation. We don't kill people because their life is difficult. That's just absolutely ludicrous to me. So for me, when, when they say those exceptions, those tough situations, I was one of those. I was one of those exceptions. And I think that uh, my life right now is pretty amazing. You know, in, in, in 1966, when I was uh, conceived, there was, no, there was no test being done on me to, to know that I would be born and uh, have the disease, spinal meningitis. Uh, even though my mother did, uh, you know, consider abortion. Um, it, it, I think that uh, if I had been conceived maybe five years ago and they had done tests and they had found out I, I had these problems, the chances are I, I would have been aborted. I would have been killed. Chances are that, that I, I couldn't be sitting here telling my story today.